Grand Rising, guys. So, as I was shuffling up to prepare for our reading, I just did our Patreon reading, uh, these three cards popped out. So, I just wanted to kind of, not even popped out, they were just left on the table. I wasn't looking at the table, and these three cards, so I flipped them over, and it looks like somebody who's been through a lot um, is feeling like there's been a missed opportunity, maybe trying to come back and heal this with us. So, I just wanted to get into this, just something quick for us, just something light, you know, not too much, not too much. But let's uh, see what this is about, and then, um, you know, we'll see what's good for the day, right? Let's see what this one is about. Great Cups. Right, interesting um looks like we may have gotten involved with a newer energy newer younger however you would like to look at that and the situation didn't end too well I'm not saying there was a lot of BS but at this particular time this energy was going through a lot uh, looks to me that they may be coming back for forgiveness and maybe just a second chance but again it doesn't look like there's too much conflict or drama just that they have been through a lot oh wow very much so. They have been through a lot with the Three of Swords. Interesting. Let's uh, get into this energy. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay, so yeah, they would like to come forward to begin a brand new relationship, a brand new situation. You know, give it a go. It looks like they may want to announce that. Hold on one second. I forget what this is. Mm -hmm. They may be recognizing that they are a bit of a burden or have at least put a burden on the situation. And now they like to take accountability for the situation. Very good. Very good. At least they're choosing to do so now with the lovers. What's the third party situation about the Three of Swords? Mm. Okay, so it's not a third party situation. It's more or less a secret that this energy has feels for this queen of cups jesus we are everybody loves the queen of cups come on now who would it all right now it's been a secret that they would like to come in and you know seize an opportunity it looks like they're having sleepless nights about this a lot of anxiety a lot of fears and you know i don't know they're realizing that this excuse me one second wow they're choosing to come in and take an opportunity but they're realizing that this queen of cups is a nine of cups on their own and it mm. Very good. Let's see what else we got for this one. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the right opportunity. Manifesting. Eh, eh, eh. Or an apology. There's an apology on the table for the BS. Okay, hold on. You know what? Let's just let's just get it all out so I can just run my mouth. All right. So it looks like this may. Hold on one second. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Same King of Swords from the last reading. Very good. Same exact energy. I know it was you, bud. You can't hide from me. I know when you're on the table. Anywho, same dude from the last reading. If you're on Patreon, um, should be posted there. Anywho, um, he is circling back and he's serious about it. He really would like to give it a go. Uh, he's seeing things very clearly now. Still not ready to speak with the sword up, but nonetheless analyzing and really seeing the error of his ways, the method to his madness. And now all of a sudden is as i said waiting for the right opportunity and is presently manifesting this energy between the cups back into his life right apology sneaking around trying to organize things and orchestrate things with these last two boom yeah like i said an offer an offer but i'm glad it's going from a cup to a pentacle all right because you definitely cause much much burdens to this beautiful energy so even then i don't even think that pentacle is going to do much because you kind of jacked up anywho there will be some news or an idea going towards this queen of cups from the king of swords and it also looks like they may be like this may be a faded event they may be lovers ha 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 this is your counterpart this is your person the person that you're guarding and defensive in front of you want nothing to do this is your person this is the person you're actually supposed to be with ha 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 spirit be having jokes for us bro yeah you got to transform the energy that you guys are in so you can see him differently but this is your counterpart 
you nine of pentacles this is your person oh my goodness why do the masculines do this nonsense point for the df point for the df i don't know why this divine masculine is doing the most this makes no sense to me but shout out to the divine feminine this is so cute all right okay okay all right okay we need to transform the energy that's in front of us and the divine masculine is clearly playing games or in, we're gonna leave that playing games anywho anything else spirit that was cute <laughs> that was so cute anything else for us spirit before we wrap it up okay oh man i really wanted to say this is another person but this divine masculine can be exuding this queen of wands energy oh we got him this paragraph wants to drop four so we're gonna look into that mm -hmm. queen of wands is another person in the mix i knew it i knew it i knew it okay not as cute and lighthearted as it was a minute ago still cute because he's trying all right so oh uh, there is another woman here there's another person here there's a, there's a bit of a shake up in the tower with that and he's realizing that it's looking like he's choosing the wrong option the wrong person to be in a situation with from the looks of this right here he actually chose to be with this queen of wands who he was sneaking around with they were seeing each other going back and forth I'm so sorry. Queen of Cups embodied the Queen of Wands. He started transitioning and moving. And now the Queen of Cups slash Queen of Wands is looking rather victorious. Why? Wow. Don't forget, they did choose another lover. But she bossed up at the same time, which caused a shakeup for this energy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. yeah see this masculine didn't know what goes on behind closed doors that's what that was you feel me he he seen the queen of cups representative and thought that was all there was to the package so he ran off with a queen of wands not realizing that the queen of cups is actually queen of wands queen of cups queen of swords queen of pentacles meaning basically an empress everything this emperor was looking for any can we get into this right here let's see what this is Ooh. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to read for my collective. Shout out to us. So basically, yes, this Queen of Cups is an Empress. Yes, King of Swords is finally seeing and realizing what was hidden from him the entire time. Yes, like I said before, she is the Nine of Cups. Yes, she is emotionally satisfied within herself. She don't need nobody to complete her. She's complete within her own mm within herself within her it's her divine right to be fulfilled of love for herself in love with herself she's the queen of cups how dare you think that she would love anybody else how she does not love herself that makes no sense she's extremely emotionally intelligent extremely intuitive extremely self-aware i love the queen of cups do you we we all love the queen you know what we're gonna leave that there he messed up and we'll leave that there all right anywho yeah so basically homie was released he had to make a final decision because he was juggling and going back and forth right and that final decision led to a tower moment for this one and also the realization that wow wow wow, wow oof oh that's very painful that you're done you're not a part of this party you cannot pass go you do not collect 200 dollars divine masculine well, I'm glad you're divine now, because that was just karmic masculine energy. So, shout out to you for doing the work. But remember, we're all karmic at some point. All of us, everybody, we're all karmic at some point. We have to do the work in order for us to work it out, learn our lessons, to become divine. So, you feel me? You know, I mean... Yeah, I don't know, buddy. She's gone. She's gone. You left her. You abandoned her. And she, she took that. And ran with it she was excited to run with it all right we're gonna leave that there because i'm starting to get sad for this masculine anywho shout out to this beautiful feminine energy keep this up 
Keep your boundaries firm. You know your worth. You know what you want. You know what you bring to the table. All right, I'm not saying that everybody, you know, has, oh, what do you bring to the table? Because that attitude is not the right attitude. That's a lack mentality, to be honest. But knowing that you are a fair, balanced, beautiful energy partner and you are willing to reciprocate, make sure everything is fair, everything is equal reciprocity, um, you, des you are deserving of a matching energy. So shout out to you for knowing your worth. Shout out to you for having your boundaries and still being able to embody the Queen of Cups energy while dealing with a King of Swords. I know that's very difficult. I, I know you've went through very, very rough times, not to mention he's also an emperor. So cold, detached, very bossy, or it could come across as bossy and considerate when they're trying to make, you know, if they're divine, they're trying to make clean, clear cut decisions. But with the lack of emotion, it doesn't come across that way. So, you know, shout out to you for being there. All right, I, you went through a lot. You transmuted the energy and you kept pushing, you kept moving. So shout out to you. Shout out to me. Shout out the way you did this. And I'm just happy to be able to read for you. And proud to say that you're a part of my collective. Yo, real talk. You feel me? We are doing this. We're transitioning. We are changing things for the better. So 11, 11 on the clock. <laughs> shout out to us. We got to get out of here, y'all. I hope everybody has a great day. Wednesday, September 14th, 8.55 on the East Coast. I love you all, guys. Get out and get some of this sun. You feel me? Drink plenty of water. You feel me? Plenty, plenty, plenty of water. You feel me? Love and light, guys.